want to be up here long, but I think you need to hear from me on certain things. Uh, and so um, I wrote the, the letter so that everybody could kind of get an understanding. Yes, we, you know, we are in a situation where under spiritual attack, but, you know, we understand. We understand how to fight. You know, in all my life, I never thought I'd be in this kind of fight, but we win. Now, when we say we win, I'm not talking about I win, but we win. Our family comes together. That's what our prayer is. So in situations like this, you know, I want to thank everybody for our prayer, for prayers. You know, don't try to trust, <laughs> don't try to trust the tabloid uh, online stuff for your information. That's just speculation. You got to trust the proven voices that you've heard over the years. Let me, let me say it again. I love my wife. I didn't, and I know the, the family loves my, my Bridget. The family loves Bridget. And we know that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous prevaileth much. So we know we'll get through this and we see victory on the other side. I, I want to just say, don't let the devil think, make you think you got to take sides. That's what people are well, I don't want to take sides. You don't have to take sides. There's no side to take because you don't have enough information. Amen. You know, and that's no, so don't let the devil trick you into thinking, well, I, I'm, oh, you, you, we with God. And we know what the will of God is. But there are a lot of layers to this that we can't publicly talk about. And that there are a lot of layers to this that, you know, right now, we, we, just, you know, we just have to handle them in an organized way. When you're in the state and you're under the laws, and the, you have to do things a certain way. You just can't haul off and trust that we've always done things, as I said, decently and in order. But what we, what we all need to do now to whip the devil is rally around the vision of this church and the vision of our pastor. Whatever personally is going on in my life has nothing to do with our pastor and nothing to do with the assignment on the church. Amen, amen and amen. And the key in seasons like this is not to draw back, but is to press forward. In every victory we've ever had, and we've never had a fight like this, but in every victory we've ever had, we had to press forward. I'm, I have a human side to me. So uh, you look at me, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, but I hurt too. And um, so, you know, don't, don't think I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, no, no. I hurt, I pain for my family. But we're going to get through this. And listen. We're going to make the devil pay. I want to say this so everybody understands because I know the tricks of the devil. Bridget is still being compensated. So don't get any rumors of, they ain't pitting no, that's a lie. And this, listen to this. I'm a real man. If this church would not be taken care of, I'd take care of her. No matter what we go through. So I want to say that so you don't give your ear to any crazy things. No, let's continue to support the light. Continue to support our pastor. Continue to pray. And victory is ours.